My name is Loazi uh, Tobani. I am originally from the Eastern Cape. I was born and raised in Gantane uh, in the villages of Igrina, Amazepa. I'm from a family of nine and I'm the seventh born. So majority of my life has been in the Eastern Cape, but at least I had a bit of I'd say, exposure in the urban life. And I really, I think that that environment really helped me to be curious about, you know, school, about education, about other things, man, to just to do well in life. Hence, then I was able to do well in school and come to UCT, right? And then I came to UCT in 2019. I didn't really know which path I wanted to take. But my cousin was like, okay, uh, there is medicine, there is engineering. I'm like, okay, there is a civil engineer somewhere in the rural areas. Maybe I can try that too, <laughs> right? So I came to UCT, I enrolled for civil engineering. So first year, second year, third year, it was a cruise. Never failed a course, never wrote any supplementary or whatsoever. Um, I even was part of the Dean's Merit list in 2021. Towards the end of 2020, my father became sick, really ill. Then he was taken to Cape Town, so he came to Cape Town uh, so that my brothers can try to take care of him, take him to the doctors and stuff like that. So they did that. A year went by. I would go and visit him, but it was not really, really frequent as I would have desired it to be. I was really busy focusing the goal. I want to do well in 2021. That was my goal. I want to really, really do well. But he was really ill. Um, and in October, my brothers and my cousins came to see me and they told me the sad news that my father had passed away. It was really tough. It's in October, it's exam season. So uh, my dad's funeral was on a Saturday and on a Monday the following week, I was writing an exam. He was sort of like 75% of the reason why I was really pushing hard in engineering and I had to now find a new reason. Somewhere in the middle, I stopped. I was like, I can't take it. That's when I started becoming transparent about what was happening in my life and the fact that I was also seeing, you know, the student wellness as well for assistance. So I then had a debt of 164,65,000. So I had to pay that somehow. I didn't get my transcript, I uh, couldn't get my completion, uh, I couldn't graduate actually. But fortunately my company, my current company, you know, they didn't, I mean they knew that I passed. So it's fine, I can work for them, but I have to find a way to get my transcript and my, um, that letter of completion. So I spoke to them, apparently they were part of a big company which used to offer some bursaries to South African students. So I applied for that and then they gave me tuition fees of 60,000. So that dropped my finance, that, that debt to from 165 to 105. And then I got a loan of 75,000. So now I was left with 30,000. With the 30,000, I reached out to my high school scholarship. How can I forget about these guys? So I reached out to them and then they assisted me. Bachelor of Science in Engineering in Civil Engineering, Loazi Tobadi. You know, working hard for something, like really, really putting yourself out there, working hard. Like you can complete, ne? but when you, when, you, when you have not attended graduation, it's like, Ish, yeah, I'm done, but I have not walked there. I want that my friends will come, my family will be here. So it, it will be really amazing to see them, you know, laugh, to see them excited and everything of that nature. My father used to be like my cheerleader. He was a bricklayer in the villages. So he was someone who was really happy that I was doing engineering, specifically civil engineering, because they were like, was it someday you'll work with me? <laughs> I'm grateful that even though he was that traditional person, he would call, he would give me encouragement that I even fell in love with a degree that I didn't know I was going to fall in love with. And one of the things that I had to just learn along the way was, even though he's gone, let me celebrate, you know, the things that he said and perhaps do things in his memory. 